my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. When my friend Alexis went ahead and requested that I do a makeup collection video, I decided to go ahead and throw in my perfumes as well. Last year the response was so great and the views were so great it shocked me and I know that my perfume collection has changed quite a bit because I project pan and there was just so many that were old that I just used up or there was just a little tiny bit left and I cycled through so many perfumes. I used up a ton and I also ended up buying a ton and getting a lot as gifts, things like that. And it's something that I'll always have in my collection. I'm somebody that will never have just one or two. I'm perfectly happy with 30 perfumes because I know now that I'll be able to actually go through them. So I am going to go ahead and get right into my perfume collection. And one of the first things that I got for Christmas was this Victor and Raw Flower Bomb. I haven't even opened this up. This is the 1.7 ounces. And then I also got the Victor and Rolf uh, bonbons. Both of these are absolutely amazing. I love these perfumes so much. I also have the Jadore Enjoy by Dior. This is 3.4 ounces. Whenever I went on vacation last year, I ended up purchasing this and it was such an amazing deal. I just had to and I knew that this wasn't even in the United States yet. It took a long time for it to get here. But either way, I still got it on a cruise ship for less. So I'm really happy. I have this Bath & Body Works Hello Beautiful perfume. Well, body spray. And then I love this right here. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. I love this stuff. Oh my goodness. I would have the lotion too. But the lotion is just too expensive. But this right here... This perfume, excuse me. Oh, I can't even begin to explain how good this smells. If you have not smelled it, go smell it. Because this is something that I'll always have in my collection. Don't ever stop making this. Please. This is my baby. I love it. Next is my next favorite, 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 favorite perfume. This is the Jador, the original by Christian Dior, and <laughs> it's almost gone, and that makes me sad. So don't be surprised if I run out and get this when this is gone, because I cannot see my life without this perfume. This smells so good. I would spray this over top of what I just sprayed, but I don't think that that it would mix. Beachy and this, not so much. Another one of my favorite perfumes, and I got this for Christmas in 2016, is the Juliet Has a Gun Not a Perfume. I do plan on using this up this year, and I love this. This is another perfume that I cannot imagine my life without. I love this stuff. Next, I got this at Black Friday in a set with the lotion. I This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream. I love the Daisy line. Love this. So I just, whenever it was on sale, I just had to get it. Next, I'm going to go into Rollerballs. And this is the Michael Kors Glam Jasmine. This is Armani C. This is Coach Poppy Wildflower. And this one right here is Ralph Lauren Tender Romance. This is my last romance perfume. I went through a lot of romance perfumes last year. I love the whole entire line. I just needed a break. So I'm back to this one. Now for my unopened roller balls, I'm going to start out with this one. This is the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. I already went through a roller ball and I received this as a gift. So I do love this. This is the Hannah More. This is, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Love this. I ended up getting this over there at Nordstrom Rack. So yeah, this smells really, really good. This is the Taka or Tatcha Julieta perfume. This is Mew Mew Le Blue. Another wonderful, wonderful, wonderful perfume. 
This is the Tarte Sweet Tarte, and I know you guys are probably laughing because Tarte is a makeup company, but you need to smell this perfume. This smells so good, and it shocked me. It really shocked me at how good this smells. Now, if you're an Ulta and you're looking for this, it's over by the makeup, at least at my Ulta it was. Next one that I was so surprised about that my friend Alexis went ahead and raved about and I finally smelled is the Replica Beach Walk. And as soon as I smelled it, I knew I had to have it. So I have the Rollerball. I'll probably end up getting the full sizes this year of some of these because a Rollerball just isn't enough. It just isn't enough. This is the Dolce, the Dolce, Dolce and Gabbana uh, Rollerball. And this is another one that just smells really, really good. I love this. The last three perfumes I have are little mini perfumes, or you would think that they were mini perfumes, but they are the 250 point perks through Sephora whenever you place an order. And I have to tell you, these are the equivalent of a rollerball, and in some cases, you even get more than in a rollerball. So, this right here is the Tory Burch Belle Azure. I, this is 0.24 ounces. I was going to actually buy this at the VIB sale, but they had this as a 250 point perk, so they saved me money. I'm really happy about that because I love this. I think I just love the whole Tory Burch line, to be honest. This right here is the Mon Guerlain. This is 0.16 ounces. This one also smells really good. This is the YSL Mon Paris, and this is 0.25 fluid ounces, another one that just smells absolutely wonderful. I did miss a rollerball, and this is the Taka Stella rollerball, and this smells so good. I love this. So that is my updated perfume collection. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will be having more videos coming out for you, collection videos project painting craziness, just all kinds of stuff. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to go ahead and give this a like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!